Hey, grade 8 learners! In this video, we are going to learn factoring common monomial factors. Here's what we need. Something to write on, a notebook or a paper, and something to write with, a pen or a pencil. Now, to maximize your learning, you can pause and replay this video as needed. Welcome to Depth Ed. Mathematics 8, Quarter 1, Module 1, Factoring, Lesson 1, Factoring Common Monomial Factors. What you need to know. In this video, you are going to identify the greatest common factor of the given expression and factor the polynomial by common monomial factor. What's in? A brief history of factorization in mathematics. Factorization was first considered by ancient Greek mathematicians in the case of integers. They proved that the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, which asserts that every positive integer may be factored into a product of prime numbers, which cannot be further factored into integers greater than 1. What's new? How do we factor out integers? We can factor out integers using a table or a Venn diagram. Let us factor out 36 and 40. Observe the table below. The factors of 36 and 40 are written like so. Now, we identify the different common factors, which are 1, 2, and 4. And finally, we have the greatest common factor of 36 and 40 as 4. Now, another way of writing factors of 36 and 40 is by using a Venn diagram. The factors or the numbers inside the blue circle are factors of 36. And the numbers inside the yellow circle are factors of 40. Now we have some guide questions for Number 1. What have we got with the intersection of the two circles? That is right. These numbers are both factors of 36 and 40. Number 2. In relation to number 1, what do you call these numbers? You are good. They are called common factors. Number 3. What is the GCF of 36 and 40? Great job! It is 4. And lastly, how do you get the greatest common factor of a number? Let's talk about that in the next part of the video. What is it? Factoring. What is factoring? Factoring is the process of finding the factors of an expression. It is also the reverse of multiplication. It can be factored into a product of prime numbers. Based from the table and illustration above, you have observed that out of the common factors, you can identify the GCF or the greatest common factor. Your knowledge in the greatest common factor and prime numbers will play a vital role in learning the first technique in factoring polynomials. The first technique in factoring polynomials is called the common monomial factor. Now, what is the greatest common monomial factor? It is the product of the greatest common factor 
of coefficients, meaning the numbers, and the greatest common factors of the variables, meaning the letters. Let us try some examples. Factor 3x plus 3y. Step 1. Find the GCF of each term. Now note, all the numbers to be used in finding the GCF must be prime numbers. So, the factors of 3x are 3 and x, and the factors of 3y are 3 and y. And their GCF is, you are correct, it is 3. Now let's go to step number 2. Divide each term by the greatest common factor. And our greatest common factor is 3. 3x divided by 3 is x, and 3y divided by 3 is y. Let's go to step 3. Factor out the GCF. Again, our GCF is 3. And then, we combine what's left, which is x plus y. Therefore, the factor of 3x plus 3y is 3 times the quantity of x plus y. Good job! Let's go to example number 2. 2x two cubed minus 6x squared. Step 1. Find the GCF of each term. Again, note that after factoring the GCF, write it only once for the final answer. So, the factors of 3x cubed are 2 times x times x times x, and 6x squared are 2 times 3 times x times x. The GCF will be the common between the two, which are 2, x, and x. Multiplying them, we have 2x squared. Step number 2. Divide each term by the greatest common factor, which is 2x squared. So, 2x cubed divided by x squared is x, and 6x squared divided by 2x squared is 3. Let's go to step 3. Factor out the GCF. Again, GCF is 2x squared. And we combine what's left, it becomes x minus 3. x minus 3. That's it. Therefore, the factor of 2x cubed minus 6x squared is 2x squared times the quantity of x minus 3. Now, to verify our result, we multiply 2x squared back into the polynomial. 2x squared times x, 2x squared times 3. There you go. And you get 2x cubed minus 6x squared. What's more? Answer the activity to solidify your understanding and skill of the topic. Always remember to follow the steps in order for you to arrive at the correct answer. Again, you can pause and replay this video to further understand the topic. Now, what's common? Factor the following polynomials by factoring out the common monomial factor. Write your answer in the corresponding column. The first one is done for you. We have here polynomials, 10 polynomials, then we identify the greatest common factor, or the GCF. In this example, the GCF is 2A. And then we write on the last column the remaining factor, which is 4 plus 5A. And there you go! You can do it! Again, you can pause and replay the video as needed. And please pass your work on time. Give me a thumbs up. Good job. What you need to remember. That factoring is the process of finding the factors of an expression. It is also 
the reverse of multiplication. Now, it can be factored into a product of prime numbers. And that the greatest common monomial factor is the product of the greatest factor of the coefficients and the greatest common factors of the variable. of profound change, the learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. Once again, this is your teacher, Miss Mary Kate. I hope that this video has helped you in your independent learning. So, keep on learning! and have a bountiful day.